Hey, what's up everybody? Today is Monday, March 19th, 2012. And that means uh, today is supposed to be Minecraft Monday kind of day. But uh, I kind of want to talk about some other things here first. Uh, I think it's nighttime. Yes, it is nighttime. Um, it's been a while since I've uh, actually put in some time here to play and uh, I had to quit doing the videos last week which uh, was kind of kind of made me feel sad that uh, oh it's also raining wonderful I think I'm gonna make a run for it uh, but anyway I just want to kind of talk about the future of the channel and um, I know before I didn't really have any sort of idea of what I wanted the channel to be and uh, I kind of went ahead and decided that I want it to be kind of game centric focused so from now on uh, Minecraft Mondays will be labeled as Minecraft videos. I'm going to stop with the uh, cream soda numbering system, uh, which I had been doing on my videos, uh, seeing as week 10 was the week that I quit. Um, and, uh, yeah, last week was, uh, I got a bunch of stuff done last week. So I am glad to announce that I shouldn't really have any more problems with that sort of stuff here in the near future. Uh, so I should be making my videos pretty regularly from now on, which is which is great. Um. I'm not exactly sure what kind of games I want to focus on other than Minecraft, obviously. And I will be doing many different uh, Minecraft type videos, of course. So expect to see things other than just uh, this um, this SMP world. I, 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 I imagine that I will go back and do my single player world that I had there for a while. And... Um, like I said, I'm just going to go ahead and invite my friends. I don't think I'm going to go through all the trouble of setting up the sign-up website. Um, I just need their cooperation when it's time to get started here. Um, and later on, if uh, if we do come to the point where other people want to join the, si the, uh, the server here, um, then I will just have to uh, come up with a way to do that. But for now, I don't really have time to do that. Um, because right now, I kind of want to mainly focus on creating content for the channel. Those cats are going to be really annoying. I bred one of them, and uh, now I have three. So I was kind of wondering how that was going to work. Because with wild animals, you just get more wild animals. So I didn't know what to expect from tameable animals but apparently they uh, you tame one and you get them all they're all the uh, children thereafter so so uh, today I don't really have a good direction for the video uh, but I figured we would uh, go ahead and get started on prototyping our road layout for the server because I kind of feel that's somewhat important and after that we will um, probably call it a day after that because my friends and I today we went out geocaching I might include that in this video I wasn't actually going to record a Minecraft video today, and then I decided I might as well. 
So, I'm going to finish collecting all this, and I will start back up when it is time to to get going on that road layout thing. Alright, so here we are. We are here at the test site, um, which will only temporarily be the test site. The reason being, the reason why we came here is this will be the future site of, of the future village, the spawn village, which will be uh, basically uh, the home network gateway to, to get to the portal system that will allow us to get to our own sections of the world much later on. But uh, the reason why this is uh, the prime location for the village is we have the plains biome here. And to me it seems large enough to where uh, we can accommodate quite a bit. We will have to do a bit of ground leveling, um, but in a lot of these areas like this right here, um, this probably needs removed, but it's not that large. Uh, but the uh, transfer in height um, from here to here, um, removing all this is just, uh, that'd be kind of ridiculous. So, um, So, no big deal there. And I'm going to run back to base to sleep before the mobs come out. So the point of, of coming over here to do tests, the reason why we have this test area set up is today we're going to be testing out uh, configurations for the road system. And the, I've been asked this by my friends, uh, they don't really understand. The point of the road system is not really... Uh, to get around faster it's it's not even just an aesthetic uh, uh, purpose it also will uh, divide our property lines so it will uh, basically it'll be the network for everything so the road is going to be seven wide the reason being is um, on the outside we're gonna have like a curb but it will, you know, that will be actually be part of the um, plot owner's uh, property. But it will have a standard look as per um, building code. And um, it's really wide because I kind of want to try out to build a, a, a fairly good SMP uh, rail system, which I've had trouble doing in the past. Um, but that was a long time ago, and I am much more uh, knowledgeable about redstone and minecart tracks. So I think we can pull it off. Uh, every once in a while we'll have a little entrance to the subway, and we'll also have all our nether portals for the nether portal network, um, or the NPN as I hope we'll call it, I don't know. I guess we'll probably have to vote on. I don't know. Um, that will also be underground. So, all that stuff packed underground, um, and possibly redstone wire. I don't know. I was kind of thinking it'd be cool to have little street lamps, or some kind of, or maybe just the glowstone lamps built in, and they can be lit up. And I know that we. I don't have any yellow. Um, light glowstone sorry I don't have any glowstone yet because I haven't even made a portal to the nether but um, when the time comes we, we will have uh, pumpkins set up uh, which reminds me I need to make a pumpkin farm but we'll have we'll have pumpkins for lighting in the in the meantime so uh, yeah, I'm gonna get some. I've already got some supplies together. I'm gonna go ahead and lay them out, and um, later on, I'll just I'll have my friends come on and we'll vote on it, and hopefully they'll actually be on 
and on Skype so we can make it a bit more interesting, a bit more dialogue. Alright, well, um, today I learned something new in Minecraft that I didn't know. Apparently, wooden half slabs. Here, I'll show you. I didn't know this, which, I mean, it's probably pretty much common knowledge. I just haven't really built with half slabs a lot. I didn't know that, um, that wooden half slabs, you can't, well, see, it, it's really slow when you punch it, and then, oh, nothing. So, my second thought was obviously an axe, and at this point, um, you know, I just kind of figured they must not be harvestable. But, uh, but they're just like every other block half slab that is you have to harvest them with a with a pickaxe which is weird I don't know um it's not really a bug I, I think it's intended like that but it's just kinda weird okay I must be crazy um so you can't use an axe on wooden half slabs but wooden stairs you gotta use an axe. And it doesn't work. Yeah, that is that really just doesn't make sense to me. Um But yeah, here let me just go ahead and finish this real quick. So here is our test pattern. Um This is all just uh you know extra. Originally I was going to have a row of of the smooth stone half slabs. Oh yeah, another thing I find weird, um, which I, I knew this already, but they probably should add a smooth stone step, because um, I just had extra slots here, but it kind of made it uh, quite handy in the sense that I needed to go six long, and I got six half slabs per, per three full blocks so that was handy um, I don't really know what this shows me because all the checker pattern has become really distracting but obviously this is ugly this is ugly that's okay um, it's kinda bland and that's kinda bland and I'm not really liking that uh, I think the curb needs to be made out of some kind of stone. Um, so we'll look at the options of, with the stone, probably. Because there's not really a, a wooden curb that I really like. Um, and once again, the curb is just mostly aesthetic. You don't really lose any blocks in the process. Well, you kind of do for stairs but with half slabs you don't really lose any blocks in the process of making them um... this one is kinda nice I'm not really... I just really don't like cobblestone it's not as ugly as it used to be but it's still pretty ugly um... so I'm thinking the best option has got to be some kind of combination I, it's probably this here I'm gonna test this out real quick um, so I'll be back in a second there we go I'm thinking maybe we can do this um, That all of them? No, one more. I'm thinking I would like it if if it transitioned into these bricks, which I know I don't have enough, but should illustrate the idea here a little bit. And I kind of want 
those half slabs back that I just lost. Where did I get him? I got him. I guess. I need to empty my inventory. Yeah, I kind of like that. That to that to that. So, this might be what we do. I'm going to have to ask everyone first, though. So, we'll see. Alright. Looks like we're sitting on about ten minutes left of, of recording here. And I'm getting a lot of lag. Um, why is it so slow right now? Uh, anyway. So, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna prepare the communal, uh, storage area. Which I'm gonna be placing right next to spawn. Um, you know, some people may refer to it as the, um town hall or maybe it's the community center but um, basically I want it so you spawn in the game on this platform obviously somewhere um, and then from there you can walk up here oop lag you can walk up here uh, pick up some community supplies or head over there to the farm to get some stuff uh... and i don't know maybe i'll add more stuff over here as time goes on but i might also move it closer to the town but anyway um, i haven't really discussed this yet but there will be three types of zones there will be um, let me uh... let me look at the, the, the uh, building code real quick. I should probably print it out, really. Okay, well, I, th I thought I had it written down, but I don't. Um, so, basically, uh, the zoning is broken up into at least three, uh, and I guess I don't have the building code written yet, so I can't really confirm uh, that it's only going to be three, but for now, we're going to have um, we're going to have public areas, which are um, anybody can use, uh, such as that farm over there, uh, the communal storage area, and uh, you know other various uh, future sites to come. And then we'll have um, we'll have private, privately zoned properties. So that will be basically the build zones after we get the street system set up. And then later on after we get the uh, nether portal network set up. Um, obviously when you go out to your own location that will be um, that will be also a private land property. And then we'll have neutral zones, which basically is unclaimed land, and it's not for public use. And you can do whatever you want with it. You can go get the diamonds, or um, you can test build things, or do some really ugly stuff. But nothing is protected in non-private uh, properties. So if you don't want someone messing with it, uh, build it on your own property because anything in neutral zone is free reign you can steal it tear it down you know whatever you want and these these neutral zones should be far enough away from uh, public areas and such that shouldn't really be a problem so um, what I'm thinking is the roads, even the roads themselves, will be public property, um, and I have a feeling we'll see a lot of them blown up, 
and the way public property will work is um, basically if if you break it you fix it you know as as courtesy we're gonna ha I, some sort of courtesy rule I, I think should be in place for that um, but like I said the rules aren't finalized yet they are they are there and they make sense for now so I'm going to get started on creating a foundation for our community center um, but I won't actually get into building it and uh, one last thing to discuss today which I know there's just a lot of stuff to discuss and not a lot of building this episode so it's very rambly and boring so I apologize for that but um, one final thing I'd like to uh, decide on is the the name of this series and um, I know it seems like it should be pretty easy to to figure out uh, just call it like Minecraft SMP Let's Play or something like that but I kinda want a, a, a title for like the server um, and it you know that sort of thing so I will be working on that uh, originally I wanted to call it Signcraft like you know the mathematic waveform of a, of a sign um, but there's actually somebody who has an SMP server in these are some folks in Germany called Signcraft. So I'll come up with something else. And once that happens, once I find out something original enough, I will probably make a website for for the series um and also for you know registration purposes that's where it will all happen um but nothing i don't have anything to put there yet so it's not really i'm not really in a big rush and the the reason why i'm i'm going to be so worried about this naming is because last time i decided to make some kind of naming system for I was gonna do um, a minecraft tutorial website back in it was I think it was October of 2011 uh, which I am getting some really serious lag okay there we go these cats are really annoying so I'll walk away from them but um, the only reason why I'm I'm so concerned about it is because last time I did anything like that uh, I got the website address for minecraftaddict.com and then uh, about a couple weeks later I found out that somebody had the YouTube name Minecraft Addict and they started making videos a week before me now today this guy is pretty well known um, he he has a community in uh, on reddit and he does a lot of redstone creations and I should still get away from those cats I was just going there to log out um, but yeah he's got lots of, of redstone creations and lots of people use his stuff and I still have the the um, I still have the um, domain is the word I was looking for which I kinda feel bad about but at the same time I was gonna let it expire and then I decided to buy it again because I really didn't have another name for the website that I had created even though I hadn't put any content up there so I think I have it for four years and if minecraft addict ever wants it I will gladly give it to him for free because I I when it was about to expire I was saying to myself that I would use it and um, 
but I never did. So maybe I should just link to his Reddit community. I don't know. I'll think about it. But I want I want to do something original, so uh I'll come up with that at a later date. But for now, uh thank you for watching and as always I uh, hope to see you again. Um Next week I will be doing a new schedule, so I will probably be not doing a lot of videos this week. Like I'm going to drop Half-Life from the schedule, and I'm also going to be dropping um, for now. I'll be dropping the news. I'm I'm going to come up with a new format, and. Thursday I will be doing a different kind of Minecraft hopefully and Friday I will be doing I don't know I'm dropping Fridays as well so uh, hopefully I'll have that finalized within the next couple of days uh, and by Thursday I'll I know by Thursday I want to start a new Minecraft thing but I'll probably just end up um, coming back on the server because this is my main focus right now even though different games will be my focus later on so uh, yeah before I get too redundant thanks again for watching uh, see you guys next time